welcome back to my channel. So today I'm starting the master bathroom. I'm gonna start getting the wallpaper off and prepping the walls for primer. So it definitely will be a fun project. So stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any content. And I hope you learn a few tips and tricks as I'm sure I will be along the way as well. Here is the master bathroom, if you remember from my old videos um, that I've done on the flooring. And this actually is going to be our next project um, to do. And it'll be very interesting. So if um, from my flooring video, we already replaced the floor because the floor was actually pretty cracked and a safety issue. So the floor is done, so I'm going to be very careful um, when I do this process to cover the floor. But the first step I'm going to do is be taking this wallpaper down. Now the kitchen wallpaper came down quite easily. This, not so much. So I'm gonna try the first thing that I've um, researched and that's just gonna be a spray bottle with fabric softener to soak this. And um, there's quite a bit of wallpaper. So we'll start with that process and go from there. And then I'll carry you through one step at a time on this bathroom transformation. kitchen I was able to take this first layer off really easily because it's not coming off so easily so I'm going to try just water and a little fabric softener underneath the glue pieces to see if I can lift it up so I just have a blank spray bottle that I'm going to do and I have fabric softener and water and hopefully this helps remove the wallpaper a little okay after many hours <laughs> I was able to finally get the wallpaper down to a lovely surprise underneath. Um, this wallpaper is not paper. This wallpaper was vinyl. Um, and vinyl wallpaper is extremely thin. Um, actually, it's the stuff um, many people are using now. And after removing it, I don't think I would advise it. It's very thin, and so therefore when you try to take it off, um, it leaves, it's hard to peel, first off. It literally came on little sections smaller than this. I tried several techniques, and it still took a long time. Um, also, mind you, probably on for 20 years in a bathroom with the heat and moisture and all sorts of thing, but I did get it off. Um, the first thing I did was I didn't use anything but water and fabric softener. This was recommended on a YouTube video I watched. Um, it did work, but it wasn't getting underneath the wallpaper. So I did get this. It's called the Roman. It actually, um, you roll it on the wall and it makes um, perforations in the wallpaper. You don't want to go too heavy because it will ruin your walls. But you it's enough to get the per perforations in there. So the wallpaper, you can see the perforations in this. So that way when you do spray, the water gets underneath it. So um, that did help loosen this up. These were probably the biggest sections I was able to get off even with that. I used, um, tried the fabric softener with the water. I tried just water. Um, I have to say you have to be so patient and I learned patience because you have to let it sit and let it soak and get underneath um, before you start removing it. Um, I did not have any success with the plastic um, remover. Um, it needed more, so I did use this very carefully so I didn't gouge my walls. And then this, again, came in a kit with this, um, and it did tend to work, but in the smaller areas, I needed the small. Um, I tried this by Def. Um, 
It's very messy. I'm not saying it's not good. It was just very messy for me and I didn't find it working any better than just the water and the softener or just the water. This though, I used this of course on the last wall. It's called WP Chomp. Um, this we just had hanging around and so I'm not sure where you can find this. I'm sure if you Google it, maybe it's still out. This worked amazing. If you spray this though, you need to work within one to two minutes to remove the wallpaper. So there's no easy way. Um, I'm gonna say right now, we removed our wallpaper in our kitchen like in one night, but this vinyl stuff is a totally different story. But anyway, it is all removed. As you can see now though, there is wallpaper paste on it. There's areas where the wallpaper peeled the wall um, a little bit, and this is the sizing they use to try to prep the wall um, for it. So what I get to do now is really make a big mess, and I get to sand this. So I just, uh, it'll be fun. I just um, purchased this Black & Decker. It was actually half off at Lowe's. Um, I'll let you know that. And I'm starting with a 80 grit sandpaper because my walls are rough. They're in rough shape right now. And then I'll move into the 120 and go from there. We're hoping through the sanding that we don't need to apply a skim coat. So we will see if that may work. I just kept saying it's all going to be worth it. It's all going to be worth it. Um, my loves did remove, if you remember. You can see the lines in the ceiling. There was a wooden box here that was um, filled in. So he removed that. We will be taking this down and putting a regular vanity in. And then the mirror is just huge and really in great shape. So I'll be framing this mirror out and I'll show you the process of that. Um, so we still have to sand, paint, change the countertop. We're gonna do an undermount sink. We're probably gonna do some stone here. I'm going to be doing these cabinets, probably removing this and um, painting this a different color. So stay tuned um, for the progress. I figured I would show you guys the true reality <laughs> of making over this bathroom. I am literally wearing my hat because I'm sanding and it destroys my hair and this amazing mask. So hopefully you got a good laugh on this one. So here we are in the process of the bathroom. Okay, so wallpaper has off. I sanded it once. My love skimmed different areas. So these two walls are definitely ready to roll. This wall is good until he has to remove the back of the toilet and I got a little of wallpaper still left over there. So what I'm gonna do now is start by priming the walls to see if there's any other little areas. It's probably gonna take two coats of primer. So I'm using Zinser primer. Um, it was highly recommended to start the priming process. Okay, so I just finished the first coat of primer on the majority of the walls. We have to take this out and put another light bulb in before I get that. So they're all done. I just love priming because you don't have to be overly neat. The nice thing too about priming um, before you paint is here's a small imperfection here and here. So the primer with the grain um, sizing they had on here, it was hard to see any imperfections, but now we can see those. He can touch those up and then I'll do another coat of primer just to make sure all these walls are nice and sealed because it definitely took a lot to get all that vinyl wallpaper off. So we're progressing. Thank you for watching and it's definitely a process as you can see. So we will be moving on to the next section of this bathroom. So continue to watch and again if you like this content just hit, give me a like please and hit subscribe below.